Hello everyone, my name is Jason Gregerson, and this video is going to be on homogeneous systems. In this video, we will learn the following. First, we want to find out what is a homogeneous matrix equation. And second, when does a homogeneous equation have a trivial and non-trivial solutions? First, a homogeneous matrix equation can be written as the following, as AX equals zero. If I wrote out the component form of this for maybe a small example of a system, I could have the matrix a11, A12, A21, and A22, that would be a matrix A, times the vector x, x1, x2, it has two components here, is equal to the vector 0, which has 0 as components. So this would be an example of a homogeneous system. So the question is, can I find an x1, x2 to satisfy this equation? And one solution immediately pops out. If x equals the zero vector, then ax equals zero. And that's always true, no matter what the matrix A is. So that tells me there's always a solution to a homogeneous equation. Another way to state that would be to say the homogeneous system is always consistent. Remember, consistent just means that it has at least one solution, and we can always see that x equals 0 is a solution, thus the system is consistent. Now that was easy to see. In fact, it was so easy that we call x equals 0 the trivial solution. So now the question might become, are there non-trivial solutions? Well, we know this. We know that if there is at least one non-trivial solution, there would have to be infinitely many. So we know that for any system, linear system, there's either zero solutions, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. Since we already have one, the question is, are there one solutions or infinitely many? Now earlier, we've talked about one of the characteristics of systems with infinitely many solutions. We said if we had a consistent system, the system would have infinitely many solutions if there existed free variables. So that tells us for this system, which is always consistent, that ax equals 0 has non-trivial solutions if and only if the system has at least one free variable. So now this describes exactly when there will be non-trivial solutions. Of course, to find solutions, we generally write out the augmented matrix for this matrix equation and do row reduction. And so somewhere in that process, we should be able to see from the row reduction whether there will be free variables. And to determine this, what we're looking for is if there are columns with no pivot positions, because those columns mark the free variables. So to summarize, Free variables are identified by columns with no pivot positions. So let's take all this information and put it together in an example problem. So let's take a look at this problem. It says given the homogeneous system and then one is provided, notice that the right hand side of all those equations is equal to zero. We have two questions. Is the system consistent? And does there exist non-trivial solutions? Well first, is the system consistent? Yes. Because every homogeneous system is consistent. To find one solution, all we have to look at is the trivial solution. When x1 equals 0, x2 equals 0, and x3 equals 0, those are our three values that satisfy this system. So that would be a solution. The real question is, does there exist non-trivial solutions? So to do that, we're going to take our system and write out the augmented matrix. Now that we have the augmented matrix, we're going to row reduce to REF so that we can identify the pivot positions. If we have any columns without pivot positions, then we know there are free variables and that there will be non-trivial solutions. So to do this row reduction, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take R2 and add R1 to it. When I do that, the first row will stay exactly the same. When I take the second row and I add the first row, I will get 0, negative 12, 9, and 0. I'm going to do two row operations at once. The next row operation I'm going to do, I'm going to take R3 and subtract 2 of R1. So that will give me 4 minus 2 times 2, which is 0. 2 
minus 2 times negative 5, that will give me positive 12. And 7 minus 2 times 8, which will give me negative 9. And the last value is 0. Next row operation, I'm going to take R3 plus R2. Row 1 will stay the same. Row 2 will stay the same. When I take R3 and I add R2 to it, I will get 0, 0, 0, 0. And once I get to this form, I am in REF, row echelon form. And this has identified the pivot positions. I have a pivot position here and here. But I look at that third column of A, and I see that there is no pivot position. Thus, x3 is a free variable. So, because I know this is a consistent system, because it's homogeneous, and because I know that it has free variables, that tells me there must be infinitely many solutions. So, there are non-trivial solutions. Now, a couple things to note in the solution process. If we look at the row reduction we did, we notice that in each case, the far right column, which was all zeros, it didn't change. And it shouldn't. All we're doing is adding multiples of these zeros together, and so that we will always get zeros. But because that's always true for any homogeneous systems, oftentimes, just to save us the tediousness of rewriting this column every time, if we know that the system is homogeneous, we'll oftentimes just write out the matrix A and do the row reduction on that. So in this case, we would take 2, negative 5, 8, negative 2, negative 7, 1, 4, 2, and 7, and simply row reduce that to 2, negative 5, 8, 0, negative 12, 9, 0, 0, 0. So in other words, we're just working on A instead of the augmented matrix. And it's perfectly valid to do that. We just have to be a little bit careful. When we do it this way, we can do the row reduction, but we just have to remind ourselves that this is still A and not the augmented matrix. So if in the end we go back to equations, we have to re-add that right-hand side. And this concludes this introduction to homogeneous systems.